responsibility and the law of attraction. Responsibility for our lives is something that we never lose but often give up. As I have said many times before, you can give away command and control, but never responsibility. The full and absolute responsibility for the outcome of your life lies with you and only you. Not your parents, and not your boss, and not your former partner, and not your society, and not God, and not anyone. More. You can blame anyone, but only you will experience, or endure, the results. Sometimes I get feedback from people whose thoughts revolve around what they don't want. They zealously declare that they are concentrating on their desires, and ask why there is no manifestation of their goals. Then they explain all the reasons they think are causing so many problems. If I were to write a template for such emails, it would look something like this. I don't understand. I'm disappointed that. I hate mine. I cannot understand. It upsets me. I'm worried about. I should, but I can't. Why do I have so many problems? It's like a list of intents, isn't it? Naturally, this is exactly what the person demonstrates. However, one detail is missing here, namely, that the person did not take responsibility for these results. The law of attraction gives you what you think about. To think is to ask. Every thought is an intention. The law of attraction is completely neutral, it doesn't filter what you ask for. If you think about what you want, then you get it. If you think about what you don't want, you get it too. If you want to demonstrate your desires, then it does not make sense to write statements similar to the above template. Even if your desires are not manifest yet, keep hoping and be optimistic. Pour in positive intentions and let the law of attraction work for you. Stay in the present moment. Watch out for good luck. If you start to get irritated or feel dissatisfied, take a walk or meditate to nip it in the bud. Otherwise, you will cross out your desires and will strive for the opposite. The key to mastering the law of attraction is responsibility. You must take personal responsibility for everything that happens in your life. I mean exactly everything. If you perceive it, then you demonstrate it. Whatever you give your attention to will expand. How to learn not to think about what you do not want. Take responsibility for bringing it on. This raises your awareness and gives you more opportunities to use the law of attraction to get what you want. Let's say I'm walking with children, and they play around and generally misbehave. They fight each other and annoy me. Later, I have to admit that I brought this situation with my thoughts. I unconsciously gravitated toward her. Perhaps, as we were leaving, I remembered previous unpleasant walks. Maybe I noticed the first signs of conflict and began to worry that it might grow. If I just thought about it, I activated the law of attraction. By accepting responsibility for creating my own reality, I also accept the power to change it. I can consciously put more energy into thinking about what I want. Some negative thoughts will still be in my mind, but I can replace them with positive alternatives. I can imagine a pleasant walk with children, even if there is no external confirmation of this. I don't need to see any evidence if I create the evidence myself. By holding only positive intentions, I almost magically notice that children's behavior improves. When I'm alone with them, they usually behave well. But their behavior changes, adjusting to the expectations of who they are with. Aaron is beginning to understand this too. What happens if I disclaim responsibility for what I experience? What will happen if I say, someone else caused these problems, and I'm just watching what is happening? Then I become helpless to change my reality. If I concentrate my thoughts on what I have now, then I unconsciously turn on the law of attraction and continue to receive everything the same. My situation will never change fundamentally. And how can it change? If I think about what I have, I just go in cycles. It is absolutely unshakable. If my life is filled with manifestations of my desires, then I am in paradise. If life is filled with what I don't want, I'm in hell. If you're determined to think about what you don't want, of course I can't stop you. The best I can do is to remind you to report back on your results, which can help you better understand what exactly you are doing to yourself. But if you really want to hurt yourself, then go for it. Just take note that I will not participate in your plaintive parties that you meet on the way. I'm not here to save you, nor is anyone else. Only you can save yourself. Personal experience is the only reason I accept the law of attraction. He proved his existence to me strongly enough for me not to doubt him. I've been working with him consciously for several years now, but he still surprises me occasionally. Who would have thought that we could attract what we want just by thinking about it? Does reality really work this way?
If this seems impossible, then the thought of its impossibility manifests itself in the same way as all others. If you do not believe in the law of attraction, then you are using it to deny it, which is perfectly acceptable, although it will bring you a lot of frustration. I'm so happy with my life in part because I'm getting better and better at adjusting to the law of attraction. I'm having a great time experimenting with it. Thinking about what I want, I constantly watch when it starts to appear. When I try to control how it appears, I usually block it. But when I relax and let it happen, then it finally starts to appear. The right people, resources, and opportunities somehow find me, usually through unexpected coincidences. The skeptical part of my brain has a hard time believing that reality can be arranged in this way. It requires a new model of reality that involves the law of attraction. Consequently, I had to make significant adjustments to my beliefs in order to bring them into line with the law of attraction. This led me to a more subjective view of reality, which eventually became my main way of thinking. By loosening my preconceptions about what was in principle possible, I experienced many things that I previously thought were impossible. For example, on Saturday I saw a delightful experiment during a Reiki class, I will write about this later. The skeptic in me has become much more malleable as it has found a new context in which many new things have become possible. And each new confirmation facilitates the discovery of new possibilities. It all starts with taking 100% responsibility for your reality. You are the one who is creating it right now. Do you create what you want or what you don't want? Change your dominant thoughts and see how reality changes. There is a whole film, The Secret, about the law of attraction. If you are interested, you can go to The Secret Community, download, ask fellow countrymen for a film and watch it. Link to the community, http colon slash slash community dot live journal dot com slash ru underscore the underscore secret slash.